Okay, so um, this is an addendum to uh, the previous video I did for a case study on building a prototype uh, using Figma. Uh, and the, the case study, uh, the task is to build a, a mobile uh, app that presents uh, local reggae events in your, in your area. And last time I highlighted a fictional artist here, uh, and uh, Ryoko Rilm and uh, I haven't been able to incorporate video in the prototype but that's after having a, a a paid version of Figma if you don't have a paid version of Figma you can't incorporate video unfortunately hopefully that changes uh, you know with some limitations I get it but nonetheless um, here I'm gonna show you uh, let's see what we're gonna do is first off I'm gonna change the I'm gonna change the contrast or the theme here and uh, because there's two things that are going on here, there's two ways that this that this is actually handled. So I want to go to the events detail page here, and um, I go ahead and I can click the video icon. And when I click the video icon, the video starts. But now what happens is is I can only toggle uh, the play and the pause icon. And there's other ways to control the video that Figma offers, uh, but I can't incorporate it using a instance of a component that allows me to change the way that the controls look or interact with the user. So right now, this version, using a component or instance of a component, I can only pause or play. Uh, it, since it's free, it will not allow me to record the computer audio or the audio of this okay so we're going to close this out here and we're going to go back to the original uh motif or contrast uh or theme and we're going to go back to the uh, events details page and then we're going to uh again click the uh video icon and what we're going to do is we're getting the same uh video that actually starts at the same point uh, unfortunately, Figma doesn't allow you to be able to control of going back to the beginning of the video. Um, hopefully that will change. Um, but in the meantime, I may be able to uh, display different icons here. But this is not a instance of a component. This is just a frame that's holding the video that is holding the other elements uh, within this modal or overlay. So the icons I have left to right here is I can scrub uh, backwards 10 seconds. I can play the video. I can pause the video. I can mute the video or I can scrub forward 10 seconds. Now the issue with that is that unfortunately with, with Figma, the, the, the interactions that you can do is only kind of one at a time. So I can't change out the icons or do micro interactions with the icons so that you know what state you're in whether you're playing or pausing whether you know what's been tapped or what what hasn't been tapped unfortunately when making this this whole overlay or modal a component a lot of these other interactions other than pause and play don't work so um to continue with the example here i'm gonna go ahead and play I can scrub backwards. Record screen capture program to record this video for this project. Um, I can mute. Free. It's still playing. While muted, I can pause it. I can go back 10 seconds or so from more or less the beginning. I can unmute. But again, this is where a micro interaction would happen. You either change the colors or something should happen to let you know that it's muted or not. Change the icon appearance, etc. Um, go ahead and play. I'm using the capture program to record this video for this project. Um, it, since it's free, it will not allow me to um, record the computer audio or the audio. So I can go ahead and scrub forward. My project video section of the, of the course um, record the actual music. So artists I'm highlighting is Japanese. Um, this is a Chinese reggae music uh, group, I believe. Um, so yeah, I'm filming this from YouTube. So 
So I basically added the voiceover to demonstrate that you can mute it uh, because uh, unfortunately the screen capture program that I'm using at the time as I'm explaining in my narration is uh, won't allow me to actually film or rather capture the computer audio so you can actually hear the performer's music. Um, they're called Lucky Roots. I'll put a link uh, below. Um, if you want to check them out, the song, this particular song, is actually pretty, pretty nice. I'm not a big fan of reggae, um, but, but it's actually pretty nice, uh, uh, music-wise. But anyways, this is just a kind of a quick overview of what you can do with video, um, and then what you can do with your video components versus the video within a frame. Uh, it's very limited what you can do with this time, uh, January 2024, what you can do with Figma with video, a paid version of Figma mind you, with video in a component versus a frame. If you put a video within a frame, you have a lot more control. If you put it in a component, you can change the way icons look, usually basically just the pause and play but um, uh, icons, but um, you're limited in the other in the reactions. And yeah, I spent some time playing around with that, so now uh, you know.